Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of x cubed is equal to square root of x to the power square root of x. We need to find all possible values of x. According to this property of exponents, nth root of a to the power m is equal to a to the power m over n. We can write this as square root of x cubed as x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to according to this property we can write this square root of x as we can write this square root of x as x to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power square root of x next x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n we multiply this power 1 over 2 by this power square root of x so x to the power 1 over 2 times square root of x square root of x over 2 now from here we take natural log of both sides ln of x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to ln of x to the power square root of x over 2 and according to this natural log property ln of a to the power m is equal to m times ln of a this power 3 over 2 this power 3 over 2 will come here and this power square root of x over 2 this power square root of x over 2 will come here so 3 over 2 times ln of x is equal to square root of x over 2 times ln of x Now we move this uh, square root of x over 2 times ln of x to the left side. 3 over 2 times ln of x. This uh, square root of x over 2 times ln of x becomes negative square root of x over 2 times ln of x is equal to 0. Now from here we can factor out ln of x. We can factor out ln of x. ln of x as a common factor and in bracket left. In bracket left this is 3 over 2 and this minus square root of x over 2. In bracket left 3 over 2 minus square root of x over 2 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression ln of x is equal to 0 or this expression 3 over 2 minus square root of x over 2 is equal to 0. Now because the base of natural log is E, so we introduce, we introduce base E on both sides like this E to the power ln of x is equal to E to the power 0 and according to this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a so according to this property e to the power ln of x is equal to x so we replace this e to the power ln of x with x is equal to this e to the power 0 e to the power 0 
is equal to 1 so at the right side left 1 this is the first value of x now to find the second solution we solve this equation from this equation we move this negative square root of x over 2 to the right side 3 over 2 is equal to this negative square root of 2 over 2 at the right side becomes positive square root of x over 2 and from here we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 at left side we multiply by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 3 is equal to square root of x and from here we take square of both sides so this square will be cancelled with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to 3 squared is 9 this is the second value of x now let's verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation The original equation is square root of x cubed is equal to square root of x to the power square root of x. First in this equation we put this value of x1 1 square root of 1 cubed is equal to square root of 1 to the power square root of 1 next square root of 1 cubed is equal to 1 is equal to square root of 1 is 1 to the power square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 1 is 1 is equal to 1 to the power 1 is equal to 1 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this solution is valid now in this equation we put this value of x to 9 square root of value of x 9 cubed is equal to square root of value of x 9 to the power square root of value of x 9 next square root of we can write this 9 cubed as we can write this 9 cubed as 9 squared times 9 so we write this 9 cubed as 9 squared times 9 is equal to square root of 9 is 3 to the power square root of this 9 is 3 now we can write this square root of 9 squared times 9 as square root of 9 squared times square root of 9 is equal to 3 to the power 3 is 27 next this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 9 times square root of this 9 is 3 is equal to 27 and 9 times 3 27 is equal to 27 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it is proved that the value of x2 9 is a valid solution so we get two solutions for this equation x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 9